Hi there, it's Portia from Kaleo Wax, and today I'm going to share with you a couple tips on how to ensure your wax is the perfect temperature every single time. So first things first, we want to put the wax beads into the pot. Um, don't worry about getting too much than you know, you're going to use. So if you're just doing like a lip wax or a brow wax, you can still fill up the entire pot with the beads. The best part is that when you're finished and you turn it off, all the wax will re-harden once it cools and you can put the lid on and store it with the wax hardened. And then the next time you want to use it, just plug it in and you're ready to go and heat up the wax. So it is very easy to store once it already has wax in there. So don't worry about only you know portioning it out for whatever wax service you're doing right then um, so first things first put the wax in the pot and plug it in then you're going to turn this knob all the way to the right uh, to the highest temperature allow that to heat up a little bit and then once I see that it started to melt I'll actually turn the temperature down to my desired setting Depending on how, how much wax you have in there or if the lid's on or off, uh, this will typically be anywhere between 130 and 180. So play around with it and kind of see what temperature works best for you. Um, the most important thing is that the wax is, you know, the perfect temperature to wax and that it doesn't burn your skin. So you can let the wax tell you when it's ready as well. So basically what I do is the five second rule where I twirl the stick and I count to five. So one, two, three, four, five. See, this one needs a little bit longer. Um, if it stays on the stick for five seconds, then you know it is the perfect temperature to begin waxing. So I'm going to let this cool just a little bit. I'm going to actually turn it down. And you'll notice here that when I change the temperature, this goes red. And when my desired temperature has been reached, it'll turn green. So that will always indicate, okay, it's time to test it and check and see if it's the perfect temperature to begin waxing. So you're going to see your beehive one, two, three, four, five. That is a perfect temperature. So the next thing you're going to do once you've done the five second trick and this looks like honey or molasses, you know, almost kind of like syrupy is you're going to give yourself a little test. And I always do this on the wrist um, and typically recommend doing it there as well. All you do is apply a little bit of wax right to that area. And if it feels just lukewarm, um, not too hot, not too cold, then you are good to go. Um, so the reason why you want it to be the perfect temperature is if your wax is too hot, it might burn your skin. If the wax is too cold, it probably won't adhere to all of the hair and it probably will break as well and just won't go on very nicely. So it's super important to do this patch test, um, to look for the signs and follow all the tips that we recommend here at Kaleo Wax uh, just to ensure that every single time you're waxing, you have the best experience ever. So I hope this video has helped you get some insight on determining whether your wax is the perfect temperature or not. If you want to try to wax at home, visit our website KaluaWax.us to purchase your own starter kit and get to waxing at home. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram. Happy waxing!